Machine learning is quite an exciting subject but at the same time it is kind of boring to learn. So in this video I have brought you 5 cool and amazing websites that you can visit to learn a little more about machine learning in a little more creative way. Coming up. Alright, let's get into the video. So for all the websites that I'm going to talk about, I'll give the link over here. Okay, also I have this paper on this which I have written every detail. So let's get into the first website that is Scene Theory. So Scene Theory is quite cool and visually it looks very uh, appealing if you visit this website. This website is more about probability and statistics. Uh, of course, something that you would really like to learn if you're moving into machine learning. You can learn many types of probabilities here starting from basic probability, then compound probability, then probability distribution, regression and many more stuff. It's quite easy to learn. They give you a basic intuition, the, the formula with an examples. It's actually built up on a library that's d3.js. Now you're not concerned about it, but go and visit this website. I found this very helpful while I was learning machine learning. Okay. So that was the first one. Second one is chrisalbin.com slash machine learning. This is a website that has, that may not be cool. Okay. That may not be cool like seeing theory, but this is a website that has a repository for all the codes that you need for machine learning project. May it be for a um, transposition of a matrix, may it be for feature engineering, may it be for scaling, may it be your some training and testing of your models, may it be for image processing. This guy provides you source code and nothing else. I mean, that is what you need in your project. So I would call it as a GitHub for machine learning, where you can find almost all source code for your machine learning project. Also at the same time, this guy has published a book. He has given the link uh, on that web page itself that is being published by O'Reilly. Of course, we know how good the O'Reilly is. So don't forget to check that book also. This video is not sponsored. Okay, so that was the second one. The third one is the visualizing k-means al algo with d3.js. Now, if you're learning k-means algorithms or even if you're teaching someone or giving a session uh, to any of the third person or you're in a conference and you want to actually explain the other guy on how k-means algorithm actually works. So consider visiting this website. What you could actually do here is add the number of nodes and the number of clusters you want to visualize and set the parameters and then you can actually see then according to number of cl clusters that you have set, uh, the nodes will be divided according to it and it keeps on changing after you keep on changing the values. So when I went to this website and I visualized it, I could even have a better understanding on how Kevin's work. It worked in my case. I hope it also works in yours. The fourth one is your ml5js.org. Now this is a quite of high end website that you would probably not visit if you are a fresher or you're a newbie into this machine learning, but it's a library that provides you access to machine learning algorithms and modules in the browser, right? You heard that right? It provides you in the browser that is built upon TensorFlow, tensorflow.js. Now, of course, we always thought that TensorFlow is only for Python and all that stuff. But after TensorFlow.js came in, many websites and uh, are getting integrated with TensorFlow. So if you want to integrate your website with that, consider visiting this website. They have a pretty good and neat UI. You can visit that and they have a pretty good documentation too. So you can get started with it. Also, the best part, if you're working with this ML5 JS, right? You do not need any other dependency. Okay, it's entirely independent and you can just straight away start using it. That was the fourth one. And the last one that I have is your, it's quite uh, difficult to read. It's R2D3. Once again, it's quite a, a good visualizing website that you can use it to learn uh, terminologies like decision tree, bias and uh, variance. You can, uh, they have a pretty clean way to tell you. You can learn in most of the cases when I went, I used this for decision tree visit that link and you can actually find the intuition, the algorithms, the uh, I, the best thing that I like about this website that while I was scrolling, the graphs on the right hand side was changing that really helped me 
keep with the context on the left and the graph so a must website that you should visit if you're kind of getting bored but uh, if you ask my favorite among all these uh, visually it would be seeing theory and uh, technically it would be my chrisalvin.com slash uh, hash machine learning so those are the five websites that i use a lot when i get bored to spend some time about uh, machine learning and uh, you know kind of get myself to the not boring zone i hope you visit this website and try it out if you know any website that interests you don't forget to uh, you can write it in the comment section i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching till here my name is stephen simon i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday thank you so much for watching see you in the next video